so hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i'll be solving problem existence of x from code shell starter 67 so let's move on to the solution but before we move on to the solution i want to tell you guys about newton school coding contest so newton school organizes coding contest every month you guys can solve some quality problems and also compete against top coders in the world this will be a good opportunity to benchmark yourself where you guys are lying in respect to other students in India or around the world. And not only that, along with this, you can also win some cash prizes. You can win rewards up to rupees 90,000. You can also win scholarships up to rupees 20,000. And along with this, there will also be some job opportunities. So this month, the contest will be on 30th of November. It will be around two and a half hours from 9 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. So do not forget to sign up. Uh, the link will be in the description. So do go and sign up from there. So in the problem, we have been given three integers, A, B and C. All of them are up to 10 to the power 9. And we have been asked to find if there exists some integer x such that A is or x plus B is or x is equal to C is or x. So we have to answer in either yes or no if such an integer x exists or not right and we have to answer this problem for around 10 to the power 5 test cases so we have to answer every test case in either o of 1 or either in o of log n and as this is a bitwise problem as we have the bitwise zor operator we know that we have to answer this in o of log n right so for 10 to the power 9 o of log n will be around 30 bits Right, so we have to answer every test case in around 30 iterations. And it is very useful to know the time complexity that you guys are aiming for, right? Because if you know the time complexity that you guys want to go for, it is easier to frame a solution, right? So we know we want to solve every test case in around 30 iterations. Now, how can we solve this? So to solve this problem, we only need one observation and that observation is that for every possible bit configuration of a b and c there will be a unique solution for x What that basically means that, uh, let's say we talk about ith bit of the numbers. So I have ith bit of a, b and c, a, i, b, i and c, i. So if I know the value of these three bits, right? So if you know the value of a, i, b, i and c, i, that is, that is I know the configuration of a, i, b, i and c, i. I can uniquely find the value of x, i. Either it will be zero or either it will be one. So for one fixed configuration of a, i, b I, and c, i, the solution will either be zero or it will either be one both the values 0 and 1 will never simultaneously satisfy a configuration right so that is the observation and to visualize this better or understand it in a better way we can draw some cases and you will be able to see what i mean now right so let me draw some cases so for ai bi and ci we'll try to draw all the configurations And we will break this configuration into two parts. The first part is when we have no carry, that is i minus one bit gave no carry, right? So in this case, we have ai, bi and ci and corresponding value of x that we want to find. So we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 right so we have all the eight possible configurations now let's try the first configuration that is 0 0 0 so if you go 0 0 0 this is ai this is bi and this is ci so if you try a value of xi equal to 0 you get 0 or 0 0 or 0 and 0 or 0 right so you get 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 which is true right which is true so in this case your x i equal to 0 will satisfy the equation but if you try x i equal to 1 here so we have 0 0 0 if you try x i equal to 1 
we get zeros or one zeros or one and zeros or one so in this case one plus one is equal to one which is not true right because one plus one will give us a carry of one and behind it will leave a zero right so zero is not obviously not equal to one so x i equal to one will not be a solution of this and as you can see we have a unique solution of zero we got a unique solution of zero and one was not the solution similarly if we try the second configuration that is zero zero one if we try this we have zero zero one if we try x i equal to zero i get zeros or zero zeros or zero and ones or zero here we get zero plus zero is equal to one which is obviously not true right so x i equal to zero is not a solution of this configuration but if i try x i equal to one i will get zero zero one zor one zor one zor one here i get one plus one is equal to one sorry one plus one is equal to zero and as one plus one will give a carry of one and leave behind a zero and zero is equal to zero so x i equal to one will be a solution so in this case x i equal to one will be a solution and it will also give out a carry it will give out a carry to i plus one bit you can do the same thing for third fourth fifth and up to eight and you will see that every time you will get a unique solution now this was the case when we don't have a carry from the i minus one bit now let's see some cases where we have a carry from the i minus one bit so the second group is when we have a carry from the i minus one bit so in this case we have a i b i and c i we want to find the value of x i so we have 0 0 0 again 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 and all up to 1 1 1 so if we take the first configuration again we get a i b i and c i but in this case we also have a carry now so we have a carry also so i can add 1 plus 0 0 so if I choose x cycle to 0 here, I get 0 is or 0, 0 is or 0. For c, I also get 0 is or 0. And you can see I get 1 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. That is 1 is equal to 0, which is obviously not true. So in this case, my x cycle to 0 is not a solution. So when there was no carry from i minus 1 bit, in this case, my x cycle to 0 was a solution. But when I have a carry from i minus 1 bit, in this case, x i equal to 0 is not a solution here. But if you try x i equal to 1, so I have a i, b i and c i. Also, I have a carry. So I have 1 plus 0, 0, 0. So if I try x i equal to 1, I get 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Sorry for that. I get zeros or one. So here I get one plus one plus one is equal to one, right? So these two ones will give out a carry of one, right? And leave behind a zero. So I get one plus zero is equal to one, one is equal to one, which is obviously true, right? And I also get a carry of one. So in this case, now x i equal to one is a solution, but x i equal to zero is not a solution anymore. And this will also give out a carry to the i plus one bit right so as you can see for every configuration you can see if you have a carry or not and correspondingly find the unique solution for the xi bit right so now you can see that you don't have to do anything right you don't have to choose so if you know the value of ai bi and ci you can just find the value of xi it will either be zero or it will either be one you don't have to choose between zero and one you don't have to make a choice so this is just simulation now, right? You just have to simulate. So you can just do a brute force simulation over all the bits. So start from the zeroth bit, start from the zeroth bit, keep a carry as well, right? Because you need to keep track of carry. Start from zeroth bit, keep a carry. For every value of AI, BI, CI, find the corresponding value of XI and carry. Then move on to the next bit and keep doing so, right? So that will be your approach. Now, like 
when will be the case when you get a impossible answer so the answer will be impossible when you are done with solving the like solving all the bits and in the end when you are left with the carry how can i show that for example assume that you have solved all the bits right up to this point and let's say this is your a this is your b this is let's say your c and in the end you were also able to find the value of x let's say you solved up to all the bits and all the leftover bits on this side are zeros right all the leftover bits on this side are zero but in the end if you are left with a carry that is after solving all these bits if you are left with a carry a plus 1 here then you will run into an infinite loop right how so so if we consider the case when my a is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 and c is equal to 0 in this case my solution is x i equal to 1 and this will give out the carry again right so in this case i have 0 0 0 a equal to 0 b equal to 0 and c equal to 0 and i have a carry as well so i will set my x i equal to 1 and this will again give me a carry so we again have 0 0 0 this will again set x i equal to 1 and give me a carry so as you can see this is kind of an infinite loop this will keep running so in the end if you are left with a carry then this will give you a infinite loop so in this case answer will be impossible or you can say no right because this will keep going on forever so that will be the case when your answer will be no otherwise your answer will be yes so if i have to summarize the solution once again i will write a summary start with your carry equal to 0 for ith bit going from 0 up to 30 compute the value of ai bi and ci and using values of ai bi ci and carry compute the value of xi and the new carry right and after after doing this for all the bits in the end if you still have carry left if you still have carry left that means you have run into an infinite loop right so the answer is no otherwise the answer is yes so that is the entire solution right uh, the most important thing was to realize that for every configuration of abc you will get a unique value of x i so you don't have to choose you just have to simulate right because if there is a unique solution you don't have to do like anything spectacular like if you know the value of a b and c just find the corresponding x i value and carry value and keep simulating right so if you guys want to see the code for this here is the code right i will go from i equal to 0 and up to 30 i will find the value of a i b i and c i then i only have two possible choices x equal to 0 or x equal to 1 so i will run a loop for these values and i will check if my a bit zor x plus b bit zor x plus carry is equal to c bit zor x if it is i will find the new value of carry and i will break right and after doing this for all the, all the 30 bits if i still have a carry left then the answer is obviously false otherwise i will return true so that is the entire solution and if you guys still have some doubts feel free to ask me at discord server i'll be more than happy to answer your doubts there and i will see you guys in the next one bye bye